We're back. We're doing the uh, seats now. And remember those pretty nice steel brackets that I made? Well, I gotta cut them up. Nice brackets that I made for the other seats. They fit great. Everything's great. Well, they're not great. So, deal is, this bracket runs straight, okay, straight, and which is fine. Mount the seat, poke your hole, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's go to the other side. See it. Turn your handy dandy spotlight on. That one doesn't run straight. It overlaps. And I knew that before, no big deal. Because um, it fit the other seats fine. But it's not going to fit these seats. So I'm going to have to cut the bracket apart. Um, the other thing is it doesn't move forward enough. It needs to be where that orange circle is to be comfortable. And if I do that on, the, on this bracket it doesn't fit here. So I've got to keep it back in this area and move it forward on the bracket. That means I get to cut this brace off on the back and move it up here. This one's fine because I can just drill another hole. So that's where we are on that. Always something. And sometimes there isn't. Anyway, but uh, I'll get to working on that. I'll get back to you.
other cramp. Cramp. Okay, I don't know if that was recording or not before. You heard all kinds of weird crap, but anyway, I found my metal. And I had to go out to the dungeon to get it because I moved all my scrap metal and all my stuff I didn't need out there. So we're going to tack this on and then trim it to fit. How about that, huh? Huh? Yeah, buddy. Woo! It's hot. Okay, what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut this off, cut that off. Well, first off, let me flip her over. Backside. Oh, we got some penetration there, didn't we? Look at that. I don't even need to weld it. Come on. It's just come on already. Sam, hell. Look at look at that penetration. That's what I'm talking about. Never mind that. Don't worry about that. That's, an, that's where we just filled in a little gap. But I'm gonna buzz that real quick. Boom! A lot of weld. All right, let me get the old plasma, go rinse it. And be done with that. Bing! Bing! Air hose, I need air hose. Cleaned up my shop the other day. That's why I'm outside here. And it is a nice day, so really, why wouldn't you be outside? And uh, mop the floors and all that. Got them all shiny, pretty. Shiny, pretty over there. See, over there. So, it's grinding dust. Really goes everywhere. So, I think it's on. Yeah, it's on. Just gotta push the button. Ready, set, go. Yeah. Okay. It's on. <coughs> Air's in. Uh oh. It's not plugged in. <laughs> About that. There we go. Watch out. Okay. Ready, set. Zip, zip. Bingo. Gotta beat that around with a hammer a little bit. Cause it's not straight. <laughs> That's all right. Do some grinding. Very clamping, cause that ain't working. That ain't working.
flip her over. Oh, get that off. Don't need that. Don't need that. Still hot. Still really hot. Crap. Well, go back to this way. And I might cut that off more, I don't know. We'll see what happens when I put it over there and make her fit. See, it's a little, not, a little <coughs> not quite straight. Put those back in my pocket. I will be looking for those. <coughs> Still hot. Still really hot. It's kind of straight. We'll see how it fits. Where we want it to go. And all that. Goodness. Stuff. Okay. Let's spread the legs out a little bit there. Figure out where that hole needs, where is that, yeah, where that hole has to go, and I think it's just right there. But I can't see it from up here, so I don't know for sure. What I could do, just needs to go like right there. Just wing it. What I'm saying, just winging it. Excuse me. Now you folks at home. Don't you be doing this. This is pretty crazy. Right here. Right here is what I'm saying. But I think that'll work. So, get her back over here. things we have to do and redo. It's just amazing. It sucks. You can make something and it comes out nice and you have to cut it apart. That's a, it's okay. It's what we're here for. All right, let's clamp this bad boy down. With the clamp. Get the handy dandy drill. Now, is that that? Yeah, that's that. Here we go. Well, 
just doesn't seem uh, seem big enough. So it's not. Let's try this one. Seriously? Well, come on, that. There we go. Ah, that's a big hole. See if that works. Come on, let's go look. Do do me do me do. You. Got a lot of extra extra metal on there. Don't really think my light's going to be dying on me. No, don't want it in that hole. Want it in that hole. I don't want it in that hole. In that hole. And let's make that hole bigger. It's uh, I don't know if that's a 90, but uh, we'll get the seed out. We'll get the fit and some stuff. See where we are. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, got our piece of angle iron. Found out this thing's not square anywhere near close square 90. None of that. So, we're just gonna roll with it. Um, I don't know where this needs to be. I do remember having to. And maybe it will not. Um, yeah. All right. You sit right there. Tape measure. Da -na 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 -na. Da. Well, I need to. I need to get the bracket. The bracket too. same see what I'm trying to do here is which I drill the hole here to make this hole match this hole I don't know what I'm saying <laughs> anyhow let's uh, yeah let's just do this So when I do that, if I have to take the slider thing off, then this hole will go here, and that hole will go there, and stuff. But I want to make sure that this is in the center. That's not right. In the center of that one. So then that, yeah, okay. So I'm going to drill it to fit this, but then if I have to move it, the front bracket 
goes in the hole here and then that second hole I drilled is there why do I care right now I'm just you know I don't know just trying to look into the future it's not the best way to do stuff I know measure from here to here inside and it is 11 11 Don't have a hole over there. So I gotta make this one work. That looks like the center of that. So we want it to be. Eleven and a sixteenth. <clears throat> That's eleven and a too much. I'll walk that back a little more. And it's eleven and a sixteenth. And eleven and a sixteenth. Nothing looks straight, does it? Not at all. 11 and 16th. 11 and 16th. It doesn't look straight in the car if you go to it with this. Probably not. Make me stare at the who knows what. But this Okay, let's check the seat. Don't know what I'm checking here. This is 16 and a, yeah, 16 and a half ish. A little tad bit over. So you know that this is a little tad bit over because you've got thickness is that which is eighth of an inch so yeah that'll that measures out correctly that doesn't Oh, I know what I did. 
I know what I did. But I should make that wider. That's 16 and a half to the edge. No, it isn't. 16 and three quarters to the edge. That's 16 and a half. So that's not correct, my friend. That's 16 and a half. Hmm. 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 Sixteen. Yeah. They're not wide enough up here. We're going to have to weld the gap. there and four and a quarter there so we're going to have to move this hole yippee yay Okie dokie, I'm going to do some grinding. Well, I didn't grind, I plasma hold. And it's not enough right there, I'm sure. But anyhow. I got what my measurements were, 11 or something. And who knows what else. Okay. So. That's got to be 16 and 3 quarters. And that still isn't. hole up some more. Be right back. Kidoki. We have cut, measured, drilled, torched, and now we're gonna just eyeball and tack this bad boy in here. see what happens. Oh well, I just moved it. Just moved it again. It's a tack. They go gap the weld. Who cares? All right? Nobody's gonna see it. Interesting. I mean, you know, I look at this and it looks just all not straight and cattywampus. See, it looks crooked this way. But I look at the gap here and I look at the gap here and it's fine. Don't move that anymore. But I look at where this bracket sits, right there, to where that bracket sits, sits inside. See, it's not straight along that floor right there. So, what are you going to do? 
that going to make my seat crooked inside the car? I sure hope not. Probably is. But we're going with it. See what happens. Didn't seem crooked with the other ones when I was sitting in it. It sure does look that way. This way. And if I'm going off this rocker panel, it was going with this is same distance here. And if this was at a 90, this would be straighter to here. All right, I'm going to back up. I'm going to check some more stuff before I weld this crap in. And who knows? I mean, like I said, I put my other ones in and they seemed okay. But I don't know if these will be. Because, you know, the steering wheel and all that good stuff. Who knows? That might be crooked in the car on purpose. So, I'm going to check some things. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I put, put, there. Oh, man. Stupid thing. So, let's try this again. One more time. There we, yeah. No, no, it's gonna fall. Yep, there. Okay, put, and it's such a glaring light, it doesn't help worth the crap. So I mock the seat up. The seat is actually parallel, we'll use that word today, parallel with the rocker panel. The brackets that run across, even though they're not square, work with the seat and it's the other one's parallel on the other side. I sat in it, it sits fine. <sighs> Problem that I was afraid of is this little bracket right here gives me what? An inch and a quarter more, yep, inch and a quarter more height and then makes my helmet and I'm going to be constantly I mean I've got a finger gap between this bar right here I'm not sure if you can see it no you can't let's try the light okay see that that bar right here that little thin bar up here that's what they hold strap the headliners to the headliner probably hangs a quarter of an inch off of that, which means my helmet will be touching the headliner. Is that a big deal? Yeah, it's not a big deal. It's kind of irritating. So, do I take the slider out? Which I think right where it is, is where I'm going to want it. And actually, right where it is, if I take the slider out, we'll drop right down into the bolt hole on the brace, straight down. So that's where it will be right there. Don't be able to move it. This is uh, like five inches to the bar and I get one of those braces behind there. So decisions, decisions. You know sometimes you just want to move it an inch back but you know once you put it in there you're not moving it.
and less. Move it an inch back. See, I've got this little clip right here. Right there that this goes on. So, I mean, I could only move it back that much at the most if I were to move it back. Okay. More crap to think about. Oh, never just simple. If it is, then something's wrong. So, see you in a minute. Okay, good morning. Yeah. So, uh, I think as we discussed last time we met, um, this mounted in with this bracket allows me to have my helmet touch the roof not the roof itself but it would be touching the headliner so it touches the, the little rods that hold the headliner um, now I'm making myself think again I was just going to uh, drill the one hole so I can mount the seat, but that's, I'm going to have to drill this hole. Not sure why they've done it that way. <coughs> not sure these brackets are even for this type of seat, but it's a similar seat, but not this exact one. So anyhow, um, I'm going to drill this hole. Put a bolt in it, lock that down. I'm going to take a couple measurements just to make sure I'm in the same spot. Um, and I, I'm still tossing things around. I sat in the seat, fits good, you know, feet, floor, relationship stuff uh, is feels good, but. If I drop that down, then it's going to mess up my, this right here, which, uh, you know, we can adjust, whatever, anyhow, just got to do something, got to make something happen, just got to move forward, so let's get the drill and drill something. Make holes, good or bad. So, yeah, I watched a guy um, another gentleman on YouTube that makes these custom cartoonish type cars and he made this one woody pretty cool looking then he made this Volkswagen bus and just awesome fabrication and craftsmanship and I look at guys like that and, and I mean it's just I guess he just worked out of his garage <coughs> excuse me um, battery drill and the stuff that he came up with is just amazing it makes me feel like a hack but anyhow that's one hole switch batteries Switch drill bits, and I didn't measure anything like I said I was gonna. So here we are, going for it. I guess we can do that from the other side. I don't know why. It really makes a difference. <clears throat> Just put a bolt in it. You know what I'm saying? Put a 
bolt in it. I'm going to get my bolts. Speaking of this, I'm going to vent a little bit. Got me eight bolts, 16 washers, and eight lock washers, $11. Here we go. That's the wrong. What the hell? Not fit the nut. I think what I did was pulled it out, just put it back. Like a moron. Bada bing. Look at that. Not going anywhere. So, all right, let's uh, do something on the other side. Check our distance as. Let's see where it would be much difference. That is two and five eighths from that corner. On the other side. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much the same. within a, you know, hair. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, okay, after fighting with the uh, seat for, I don't know, several hours, I also realized, you guys let me put this thing on backwards again. I had it flipped over this way. I couldn't get to the bolt. Luckily, it broke and, you know, anyhow. So, we have hunted and decided to just cut it all apart and start over. So, and I made it this square because that wasn't working either. Once I bolted these to the seat and then tried to line things up because it wasn't square, it was off. So anyhow, this is what I'm looking at. 
if I use that hole and that hole, I can then move it forward and use that hole in that hole if I have to make an adjustment or I will make an adjustment in the middle so right you know who knows who knows where that's going to be but at least I've got options so what we're going to do now is tack these in place and as you see I used magnets little some little dollar magnets makes things a lot easier so I'm going to tack these in place and get to moving forward finally Okay, got the brackets in, got them all square, got them tacked, got the holes, and uh, I think it's going to work this time. So, I'm going to weld these in, hope for the best. Turning my heat down a little because I got a little gap to weld it here. Okay. Okie dokie. I'm going to let this cool off and uh, Go eat some lunch. Alrighty, we'll weld it in again. So now I'm going to uh, attempt to bolt this here seat in. I'm going to first put the brackets in here. Like so. Get me some bolts. You know, I'm going to take this back off. Because it's going to be too far back. Ugh. 
spinning freely. The old handy dandy piece of crap tape measure. Bought all kinds of nice tape measures, and all I seem to get are these little crappy ones. But anyway, they work. The only ones I can find. See one up there on the table. Okay, that's in. Now. <sighs> okay, put this seat in. Well, Now, put some bolts in this here seat. See if it fits. All right, it's not fitting. What the hell? There we go. Oh, Bob. Snug right there. <laughs> Leave that a little, a little loose. Now we get the other ones in. The other ones. That washer on there. Yeah, of course. Didn't work that way. Where's one way and one the other. Let me spray that with something. Oh, that, yeah. That went everywhere. A little penetrating lubitures on there. Kind of Thanks. Figure out. Huh. 
where we want this thing. Oh. Well, in here. Well, that's not bad. Not bad at all. Where it is right there. <sighs> line on the helmet off. Of course, that one doesn't line up. get my adjuster. things kind of line up. Kind of. <laughs> Tighten that up all the way. And we get this one in. go. <laughs> so that's why that back hole slotted. I'll be gosh darned. Well, son of a bitch. Oops, let's try it this way. Nope. Nope. spent so much time on seats.
All right. Let's get the helmet. All us up in here. That much clearance. That much. So, clearance is clearance. I got at least four fingers on that side. So, there we go. Ever notice the steering wheel isn't straight? As I'm looking at where it hooks up. It's going to come out like right here. Not right here. Because right here is right where the control arm is. Right here is the steering wheel. It's at an angle. Like that. Okay. That's one. Now, we'll wait until we get... Other seat in before we tear that one apart because that other one's 17 inches wide so it's gonna hang over and we gotta you know move stuff so see you on the next video